In this video, we will learn what is MicroPython and how it works compared to traditional Arduino development process. MicroPython is essentially a Python created for microcontrollers. MicroPython is a lightweight and compact implementation of Python programming language. It is stripped and trimmed down in order to work with embedded devices which basically has limited resources. And with the help of machine modules, we can easily communicate with the hardware input and output devices. So how does the MicroPython works, as you may ask? Let us compare the MicroPython to Arduino. But before that, the following statements should not start heated arguments between Arduino and MicroPython enthusiasts. It is stated to educate and not to start war. Both has its own advantages and disadvantages. In MicroPython, the source code is created or edited in the computer using an editor like Tony Python, which is the same as in the Arduino traditional programming language, which is using an Arduino IDE. In MicroPython, the code is stored inside the microcontroller's flash memory, while in Arduino, the code is stored in your computer. In MicroPython, the source code compilation happens inside the microcontroller. The Python interpreter converts the source code into bytecode and stores it in the random access memory and consequently executes the program which all happens in runtime. While in Arduino, the source code compilation happens in computer. The compiler converts code into machine code. The machine code is transferred to microcontroller through serial interface and written to flash memory. The flash memory is overwritten every time the source code is uploaded. In MicroPython, the time it takes from code compilation until execution is very minimal and virtually executes immediately. And because MicroPython is an interpreted language, when you modify your source code, it doesn't need to compile everything. It just needs to modify a portion according to chains in source code. While in Arduino, Every time you modified your source code, you also need to recompile everything in order for the modification to take effect. But since MicroPython is interpreted during the execution of the code, speed performance is not efficient. While traditional programming has the advantage in using machine code level. Another cool feature of MicroPython is the addition of REPL. REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, Then Loop. REPL allows you to connect to the development board and be able to test a code without any need of compiling. REPL take advantage of the UART serial interface which is commonly included to almost all embedded devices available in the market. That's all for now. In the next video, we will learn to communicate with the outside world or general purpose input and output access. For any question or suggestions regarding this tutorial, please feel free to write it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it. You may also be interested to check out the companion blog post of this tutorial for additional information at techtotinker.blogspot.com And if you enjoyed this video, give me thumbs up and share this to your friends. And please do subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and have a good days ahead. See you on the next video.